Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your October 2018 channeled messages um, from Spirit. So this will not resonate with everybody. Make sure you're checking out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs as well as this message is for you Scorpios who have a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So um, I have tried to do your reading three different times now, and I do apologize for being so late, but I just, when I was meditating on your situation, on your guys' sign, I kept getting a block. Um, and when that happens to me, I just know that it's not time. The divine is not ready to give me the messages that you guys need to hear. So um, this message is coming in divine timing, but I do apologize for the lateness of it. Uh, due to it being late, I will go into a little bit into November as well. So I kept seeing for you guys the number 10 and the number 13, which are both very powerful numbers in the form of restructuring your life, um, going through huge transformations, becoming the, the best version of yourself yet. Um, this is a very significant month for you guys. Um, the end of October, beginning of November, there's just amazing energy coming towards you. And I'm going to say the last week of October at the end of the third week, beginning of fourth week of October, there is amazing energy coming towards you guys. This energy is going to awaken you to reveal your new path, to push you in a different direction than where you've come from up to this point. And it's going to just bring to light so many possibilities for you. Many, many, many of you Scorpios, I mean, probably 90% of you are going through a major, major life transformation. Um, and this has gone back years, um, all the way up to a couple months ago, but it has been a very, very difficult time for a lot of you. Um, a lot of heart heartache, a lot of just, yeah, just a lot of getting the shit into the deal. Um, this is uh, the time of autumn, October, November, um, this is going to be a beautiful, magical time for you, Scorpios, whether you want to believe me now or not, because I know a lot of you are thinking, you know, all I've had is disappointments. Everybody keeps talking about all these great gifts that are coming to Scorpio and all these great moments, all these great relationships, all these great jobs or, you know, and all you're thinking of is there's no possible way. All I've had is betrayal, heartbreak, de deception. Um, just, um, you guys have just been disappointed time after time after time because you guys um, are a very loving sign. You're a very honest sign. Um, what you see is what you get with Scorpios. And unfortunately, the people that you've been dealing with lately are not, that's not how they are. So, Yeah, so you guys are just, yeah, it, so you don't have to believe me if you don't want to, but I'm telling you a lot of you are at the end of your cycle um, with, with it being a 10. This is the end of this chapter. You are going to be able to move forward and, um, and start to see changes in your life, starting to see shifts, um, people falling away that no longer serve a purpose in your life. Like I was saying, you guys are so giving and so such a compassionate sign. You're honest. What you see is what you get. And you're seeing that people are not the same way. So yeah, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Sorry, pardon my language, but that's what I keep hearing in my head. I kept feeling that, like, what is wrong with you? Why are you, why did you do this to me? What is wrong with people in general? Like, 
Yeah. You guys <clears throat> are getting very impatient, very impatient with people in general. Um, yeah. And you're just ready to be like, I'm done. I'm done. Like I'm ready to go live on a private Island all by myself and just be done because you're just experiencing one, um, one issue after another with people who do not have your best intention at heart. Um, for some of you, it's time to take back your power, not in a form or a way of controlling things or, you know, being able to get people to do what you want. Um, but instead just take a step back allow and trust everyone else to do their job in life. Um, my biggest advice for you is to start doing what you want to do. Just go do it. Don't care what people think. Don't care what people say because you can't stop the rest of the universe from doing what they're going to do. They're going to do whatever they want. So don't let them control what you are doing. Because they don't give a shit what you think about what they're doing. So go do what makes you happy. Um, just go do it. It's time for you to do you and not worry about everyone else's needs before your own. Um, for some reason, there's kind of like a... You guys are just, you guys are just so, um, giving of yourself, giving of your energy. And I can see you're exhausted. I can see you're tired and I can see that you put out your all and you are tired of getting nothing in return, um, except for getting used or lied to or deceived in some sort of way. And for this group of you, you just feel really defeated right now, um, I'm going to tell you there are really big changes on the horizon for you guys. Um, yeah, there really is. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with family issues. Uh, stand your ground because um, from this group of you of what I am seeing, I cannot believe what your family is putting you through. Um, stand up for what you believe in. Stand for what you know is right. And those who choose to not stand beside you in that, let them go. Um, for some of you, your family will return. For some of you, uh, it won't be for a while. But that's best case scenario right now because it's time for you to focus on you and not worry about them. They can take care of themselves. And I know that sounds really harsh and I know it sounds really bad, but, um, it's time to put energy back into yourself to focus on yourself. Cause if you are completely drained, you have nothing left to give anyways. So, um, focus on yourself, uh, let your family deal with their problems and, and it'll all work out. For some of you, you're getting, um, your enlightenment is being brought to you by spirit. Um, you're going to receive some sort of, uh, information. It's just going to come to you out of, you know, driving down the highway It's something's going to come to you and it's all going to make sense. Every part of it, every part of what, every part of everything. Like you are questioning a lot of things right now. Your answers are coming. Um, Yeah, when you when you hear this information, when this like uh, enlightenment comes to you, you are going to know exactly what your next step needs to be. And as if by magic, the next step is going to be there, ready and waiting for you. Right now, it's it's not there, so you're not seeing it. But when the perfect time is there, when divine timing is at work and spirit is enlightening you that door is going to be then open for you to take it. So don't fear it. It will not pass you by. This is fate. This is destiny. What 
your next part of your journey is. Um, yeah, so don't worry that it's going to pass you by. For some of you, um, don't let others, uh, other people's opinions or words. This could be like in a job setting or family once again, ex-lovers. Um, don't let... Don't let their low vibration affect your uh, self-confidence, self-esteem. Um, that's not always easy to do, but it's just their negative um, remarks, their, them living in their shadow side. They're trying to bring you down to their level. Um, take the higher road and, and know that their opinion of you is just a direct reflection of what they're lacking in their life. So don't let that bring you down. You guys are amazing people. Um, yeah, for some of you, there's someone in your space that is intimidated by you. You're very strong. Um, you're, like I said, what you see is what you get. This intimidates somebody at work, and they could try to bully you in a certain way um, or try to get people not to like you because they are very intimidated by you. Be cautious of these people. They're your friends to your face and but you know that your intuition is telling you don't trust this person. Um, that is why. Um, for some of you, you have, towards the end of October, a very strong push of energy. Um, we're going to have a, it's going to be like a paradigm shift, a huge energy change. And it's pushing you into a forward motion that's going to give you the courage and the confidence to start your transformation. Um, this is for those of you who just in the last couple months have been experiencing um, the downside of the wheel and you feel like it just can't get any better right now. Um, it is moving you forward. For the, uh, for the rest of you who have been going through this for months and years, um, this final push of energy is pushing you to the completion point of your transformation. Hallelujah. And uh, your new beginnings are coming. Uh Autumn is just altogether a beautiful time for Scorpios, especially. Uh, try to get out in nature. Enjoy the beauty. Um, enjoy the cycles of life and, and directly allow them to reflect into what you're going through. Um, this too shall pass is uh, one of my favorite sayings that I remind myself of uh, many times, but it is so true. Um <clears throat> for some of you, October 18th is a big day for you. Um, you have a situation that's on your mind. You just can't shake this, uh, this that you're going through. It's, it's giving you, a, like, you can't shake this odd feeling. It's almost like a deja vu feeling. Um, yeah, your answers are coming in that day, this day. Uh, Answers to the situation that you have been dealing with for two months now. Um, I'm not seeing what the situation is, but for those of you, this is for, um, you know that I'm talking to you. Your answers will come to you that day. Uh, you're going to feel very odd in the morning, but by evening, um, when during sun fall or sunset, uh, Somebody will be coming to you, delivering you answers that you have been waiting for. For some of you, uh, for some of you, you are shaking um, like a codependent partner, or you were the one that was codependent. Um, you are freeing yourself from this heaviness. You are realizing that you don't need somebody, or it's time to cut somebody off. This is going to uh, just lift that heavy weight off your shoulders. Um, for some of you, you are deciding to return back to school. It looks like in the winter, so probably second semester. Um, congratulations to you. Money uh, for that is going to come through at the last minute. Um, Jupiter is exiting your sign, and it is going to, as Jupiter does, at the very last minute, bring you, um, good news of financially, um, being financially supported through the schooling that you're wanting to attend. For some of you, 
the last week of October, especially the 23rd through the 26th, somebody that's living in their shadow side is going to try to take advantage of you. Once again, um, stay strong. Uh, during these days, really focus on staying grounded. And yeah, and just trust your intuition. You guys are very intuitive anyways, but um, spirit will be with you these days, especially um, guiding you away from this person because this person's wanting you to sign something. Um, could be like a loan, like a co loan or whatever, or like a business contract. It's something where you are going to uh, be tied to this person for a while financially. Trust your intuition. Um, yeah, because it's your intuition is going to be heightened during that time. Uh, For some of you, you are ending a long-term relationship. Um, you are putting a stop to, to this and walking away. Yeah. Um, yeah, for this group of you, you're, you're walking away from a long-term marriage. Uh, this is marriage of years. I'm seeing anywhere from 11 years to 31 years. Um, either they walked away or you are, you're going to be able to close that chapter within the next three months, um, said and done, walked away. Uh, for some of you, um, you're in a competition for a job promotion or just a new job. Um, remain confident because uh, for this group of you, you will get this job. You will get this promotion um, this new job that you're in competition for, uh, just remain confident. You know, your stuff, you know, you're good. Display that. Um, yeah, for, for a large majority of you, you will get that job. Uh, for some of you, uh, for some of you, someone in your energy is being really, uh, just really downright, rude to you. Um, you, this person is like almost trying to make you mad, trying to get under your skin. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but you're just tired of their scrutiny. Their eyes always on you. Um, they never point out what you're doing right, but they are sure their, um, first thing to tell you what you're doing wrong. Try to uh, remain grounded in this situation and kill them with kindness. Um, it's only going to bring you more positive things. And in turn, it's going to end up pissing this person off who they are trying to do this to you. Um, right now, it's just for the end of October, beginning of November, um, I don't see a whole lot of new relationships coming in. I don't see people... Uh, you're going to have exes returning, but those exes are exes for a reason. Um, really reevaluate if they want a relationship with you before you jump in. Um, it's time or make sure you are remembering the past relationship for what it was. Reevaluate and make sure that you want to start a relationship with this person again. Um, for a large majority of you, it's not your relationship that you're meant to be in. Um, and like I said, you may have more than one X return with Venus in retrograde, but right now spirit is encouraging you to focus on completing things, focus on, uh, ending chapters and past hurts. Um, some of you are, um, in memories of something from your childhood that was really hurtful, um, abusive, uh, yeah. There's sadness around these memories. It's around your childhood. You are going to find a way to move forward. You really are. Allow these hurts to come to the surface and spirit is going to enlighten you. They are going to help you. The divine will help you to move through these wounds and allow them to heal uh, in a positive direction. So you can move forward and that will no longer be your block to the relationship that is fated for you. Uh, some of you do have big wishes coming in. Um, 
they are coming true. I do see in November, um, by mid-November to the end of December, Scorpios, you guys are going to have a beautiful turnaround. Um, please, please, please believe me because I know you're thinking, yeah, right. We've been hearing everyone's talk about Scorpios getting blessings and money and perfect relationships for months now. And, and it's not happening. Um, it is coming at the end of the year. Right now, it's just time to, uh, it's time to really, like I said, stand in your power. What do you want? What is good for you? What is it that is going to make you happy? Not everybody else around you. You. Focus on you. And make that be known to the universe. Um, yeah, when your guys' new moon comes in in November and Venus goes direct on the 16th, I think it's the 16th of November. Yeah. When it goes direct, things are going to shift. Like I was saying, you're going to have a paradigm shift. You're going to have a major shift in energy. Yeah. Some of you are asking, when are these great things coming? Where are they? Where are my blessings? They are coming. The end of November and December are going to be, um, a completely turnaround month for you compared to what you've been dealing with for the last months, six months, year, two years. Um, and Jupiter will be moving out of your sign and in back home into Sagittarius. When he leaves, he will be leaving you with a gift. Um, this could be in the form of so many things, uh, job opportunities, um, inner wisdom, you know, knowing, yeah, knowing what, knowing what is in you, what you're about and what you can contribute to the world. You're going to be enlightened in a, in a new way. Um, you are going to know finally what empowers you. Um, prosperity, abundance, these things are coming for you as long as you trust in the universe and keep the faith. And I know at this time, Scorpios, right now, it's hard to do that. Um, I'm only, I can only see and hear what you guys are going through. I couldn't even imagine. Um, but you guys have gone through some horrible things. You guys have gone through some heartbreaking things. But, uh, but it is coming for you. For some of you... Um, you do have a very big relationship coming for you in November. Trust your intuition. Uh, right now, it's just time to focus on being self-sufficient, getting through these next couple of weeks, um, getting out of this Venus retrograde. Um, when Jupiter gets out of your sign, your new moon is coming. Um, a lot of things are coming, but the couple weeks or the couple months up to this point, have been very hard on you and it's just time to take a step back, relax, declutter, um, declutter your mind, your house, your emotions, your anything in your space, mind, body, and soul. It's time to let it go. Let it fall with the autumn leaves because your time is coming for some of you. Um, you're trying to help out others. Um, and it's just biting you in the ass um, quit, quit giving out your energy to these people because they're not appreciative of your beautiful, your beautiful energy. Your, you guys are just so giving. Um, but yeah, quit, quit giving out your energy so much to others. Be selfish. Um, do you and allow yourself to clear the clutter, allow yourself to move past those self-limiting beliefs those, um, and because it's just like self-sabotaging, uh, yourself and it's, it's making you frustrated within because you know, you're doing this for this group of you and, and you're, it's just pissing you off really. So, um, the first step in that is to rein in your energy, pull it back in, ground yourself, center yourself and, um, and start letting things that no longer serve you, um, come to an end. 
yeah, it's a huge time to be getting over, you know, deceptive people in your past, hurtful family issues. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with parents who have addictions and you've dealt with this from the time you were a child and you're a child or you're an adult now with children and you're still dealing with those hurts of, um, your parents' addictions from your childhood on up. Um, those, that's a really big, uh, wound that I'm seeing for a large group of you actually, um, it's time just to cut certain things and certain people, um, out of your life right now. Not completely. I mean, you don't have to completely cut them, but, um, make sure you, uh, are putting you first. There's nothing wrong with putting, um, people second, third, fourth, fifth. Um, as long as you're being put first, because like I said, if you're drained, if your energy is depleted, um, you don't have anything to give anyways. So it's time for you to spoil yourself. Um, yeah, uh, try, try, try not to lose hope, not to lose faith. Um, you guys are strong, strong willed people. Um, but even the strongest people feel like you can't get up sometimes, but I hope this video, if does nothing else for you, brings you a little bit of hope and faith for, um, the coming months, November and December. Um, especially you guys are going to start to see, um, that things are shifting, that things are changing and new relationships are coming in the end of December, uh, the beginning of 2019, uh, for you guys, you got soul, soulmates, twin flames returning, um, beginning of January. Uh, if you are single, your energy is just going to totally radiate by the end of October. Um, and people are just going to be drawn to you more so than they already are. They're going to be drawn to you in more of a, um, giving way than a take, take, take way. Um, so like I said, there are amazing, beautiful things coming for you, Scorpios. Um, but for those of you going through a hard time, your transformation is coming to an end. You have gone through the dark night of the soul and you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, don't give up hope. Don't give up faith. Um, it's time to set your intentions. It's time to send it up to the universe. And most importantly, it's time to stand strong in what you want, bring back your energy and focus on yourself and allow the universe to bring you in what you deserve. Um, become one with the universe by trusting in it. And when you do that, you will then have your personal power back. And in that time, you will be enlightened by spirit. October 31st is going to be a huge day for Scorpios. Um, it's the thinnest the veil has been. Um, it's going to be a, a, a huge day for every sign. Um, some of you are going to be communicating with loved ones. Um, but a large majority of Scorpios, especially your angel guides are going to be as close to you as you have ever felt. You're going to be able to feel them. Some of you are going to be able to witness them. Um, and you're really going to have a rejuvenated spirit after that. Your soul is going to start to um, see these excellent changes coming. Yeah, most definitely. So don't give up hope. Um, I don't see a lot of new love coming in. I don't see a lot of people returning. Well, I see your exes returning. But um, for those of you waiting on people like soulmates and twin flames, they are different but I don't see them returning yet either because there's still a little bit more healing to go. Um, but you are right there. Like I said, you're at a 10, which is the ending laying that burden down and a 13, which is personal transformation. Um, being rewarded for the hard, hard lessons that you guys have learned the last couple of years. Um, but you have learned those lessons. You are taking them with you and you are moving forward and the divine will be waiting for you in the most perfect timing for those blessings to come in by the end of October, beginning of November, which is an amazing time for you birthday, uh, Scorpios. Happy birthday, by the way, um, 
just in time for that. So, um, keep the hope or keep the faith. Don't lose hope. And may God bless your journey with love and light.